what is going on guys my name is Zaro in today's video I will be telling you guys all about the new update that just dropped today November 17th 2020 the Tachanka update that we've all been waiting for to it is finally released on Xbox before we get into this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel I stream almost every day on twitch my link is down in the description it's just I am Zaro on Twitch. Make sure you guys come check it out. Also, if you guys want to be carried to Plat 3 or any rank Plat 3 or lower, or you guys want to buy a Plat account, we have one times, two times, and three times Plats. Just hit me up on Fiverr, link down in the description, and we will have a conversation there. I right, let's get into the video. Okay, guys, as you guys can see, this is the new Tachanka update. It is released today on November 17th, 2020. I did not know it was supposed to come out. I heard it was supposed to come out mid of this or this season right now, but I heard it got pushed back to next season. But I guess they ended up releasing it today. But I'm not going to complain about it. It's a pretty cool update. So as you guys can see, uh, Tachanka is a one difficulty he is a still a one speed three armor, so he's still very slow and has more health. And plus with an LMG, it slows him down even more, so he runs very, very slow. As you guys can see at the top left, his emblem has changed. It is no longer a turret, because that is no longer his ability. He has the turret as his primary weapon in the turret, or not the turret, the um, grenade launcher is his ability. As you can see right there, and his icon is different. All right, let's check out his loadout. So as you guys can see right here, he now has his DP-27 light machine gun turret. Now that without the stand, he can hold it now. It has 49 damage. He has a fire rate of 550, mobility of 50, and a capacity of 70. So it has 70 bullets, and it does basically 50 damage a shot. So that's literally, this is an LMG with 70 bullets, a fire rate of 550, and it literally two taps. That is absolutely insane and overpowered. This gun is going to be nerfed very soon because that is insane how much damage it does. 50 bullets a shot. And then he has his SMG still, which has 34 damage with a fire rate of 750. So I do not recommend using his SMG anymore. It's really useless now when you have a machine like the DP-27. Also, Tachanka lost his sausage. He had a shotgun, which is also Finca's and Capcan's shotgun. He no longer has. And he still has his pistols. He has the GSH-18 and the PMM. I recommend using the PMM. The only difference between the two guns is the damage and the ammo range. If you can hit your shots with the pistol, I recommend using the PMM. It does 61 damage versus the GS GSH's 44 damage. But the GSH can hold 18 bullets while the PMM only holds 8. So I definitely recommend PMM if you can actually hit your shots. And then he has proximity alarms and barbed wire. Barb wire. It doesn't really matter which one you want. It's all preference. If you're a kind of like you a sound whore, you can use proximity alarms. But I mean, barbed wires have sound cues too. So honestly, I'd rather have barbed wire because it also slows them down. So either one. But I definitely do recommend using this LMG. It is insane. Also, guys, with this update is the Tachanka Elite skin. We have been waiting so long for King Tachanka, the Lord of Rainbow Six Siege, to finally get his Elite skin. And this is what it looks like. It is a very ginormous buff guy. <laughs> Look, his arms are huge. This dude is ginormous. I would not want to get in a fight with this guy. And now you can see his mask is a little different. It is just insane. This is all the stuff you get with him. You get, of course, the skin I just showed you. Then there's variants. He gets a camo. As you can see, there's camo for all of his guns. And there's little charms. As you see at the bottom right, he has a little the Chonka charm, a chibi. And then he has these, these kind of a basic camo. The camo's not that great. And then his ability has a variant, which is what it looks like right here. I Guys, this is his elite skin, and let's watch it. All right, guys, so that's Tachanka's new Elite Skin animation. I think it's pretty cool with the fire effect. It's pretty good. Cool. It's not the best out of... I've seen a lot of better ones, but it's definitely not the worst. I, 
as you guys can see right here, the new Tachanka turn is so strong that it pierces walls like it's nothing. It obliterated this wall right here, making a rotation so I can spawn peak. I use less than a full mag to just to make a rotation. That is absolutely insane how strong this weapon is. During these kills right here on this spawn peak, look at the recoil. Like, this gun has literally almost no recoil, and it is so strong. I killed these guys so fast. I just want you guys to know how hard it is to get these clips for you guys with people like this. I chose Tachanka, he got mad, TK'd me. And this is not the only time. As you can see in this clip too, I got Tachanka, I tried to run away, boom, I get down by smoke. And luckily my friend was playing with me and he was docked so he TK'd him before he could finish me and healed me up. Alright guys, now we're just going to get into the clip section of this. And I really hope you guys enjoy, I went absolutely insane with this new operator.